For this week's access code, we head to St. Charles Parish to the 70047 zip code, which is Destrahan. The current population, just over 13,000 people. The zip code's on the small side with a slightly less than average population density. The area has two plantations on River Road, the Destrahan Plantation and the Ormond Plantation. The German Coast Farmers Market is a main attraction held on Wednesdays and Fridays. The St. Charles Borromeo Church boasts the oldest German cemetery in the South, and right down the street is the George Prince Ferry Memorial, in honor of the 77 victims of the worst ferry disaster in U.S. history. The Ormond Plantation in Destrehan is a popular destination for weddings and has a restaurant open to the public. My cuisine is called River Road Cuisine. Um, it's kind of a little melting pot of a little bit of German, a little bit of Creole, and a little bit of Cajun. And what we have here is uh, a cream, crab meat and shrimp stuffed eggplant. I have a pecan smoked pork rack over a sweet potato hash with a cane syrup glaze. I have a crab meat and brie appetizer. And then our feature is a pecan crusted catfish and that has a little crystal miniere sauce. Construction on the original house was started by Pierre Trepanier on a track of land he was awarded from the Spanish government for his service during the American Revolutionary War. The two wings on either side of the house, which are called garçonniers, are taller than the main building, giving the plantation a distinctive look. As you can imagine, it's changed hands many times in over two centuries. In the mid-1900s, it was bought by owners of the Brown Velvet Dairy. They modernized the house with indoor plumbing, gas, and electricity. Ormond Plantation is currently owned by the Carmouche family. Alongside the restaurant, which has six different dining rooms, it's also a bed and breakfast with five bedrooms upstairs. Chef Richard Corral has been running the restaurant since it opened nine years ago, but he's a jack of all trades. He does everything from mowing to painting. There's about 30 weddings here per year, and most of them are held in the courtyard. And these are 500-year oak trees. This is actually a resurrection fern. So if it doesn't rain before the wedding, chef's out here himself hosing it down to make sure it turns green. Everything we do here is fresh from scratch. We have a great small crew, so we're kind of personal. So we feel like we can really give that nice southern charm and provide great food at the same time. And the plantation is over 225 years old. The restaurant is open to the public for lunch Tuesday through Friday. Dinner is served Thursday and Friday nights, and brunch is available on Sundays. And Chef works a lot of hours, guys. So he actually goes upstairs to the doll room to relax. Oh, yeah. That's a cool room, by the way. It's creepy. Some of the well, dolls are over 100 years old. He tells me they never talk back to him. It's not though. creepy, it's historic. There you go. It is historic. I want to know but more about the whole the plantation is cool. Just stay away from that. Right? The yeah. tree that you have to wet to turn back green. Well, resurrection ferns. So when it rains and stuff, it turns it turns back green. So I of had course, no idea. before a wedding, you want those pictures to be gorgeous. Sure. So he's out there spraying it with a water hose. Wow. And it's just a nice drive up River Road to get there too. It is so pretty area. Thanks, All right. lovely. All right.